I've been studying crossovers for a while. I've been learning a lot. And let's be real, fundamentals are great, but what would who be without that flash? The dunks, the crossovers, they put the fans in the stands. It's nothing like seeing somebody go to the ground. It's hard to hold that screen in. I took a deeper look into it to see if there's a science of dropping people. Could it be the footwork that did it? Or the people just need a quick crossover? I found out you can't plan it. But there are moves that help it happen though. It took me a while to catch it. But this is what I came up with. I call it the snatch. More people drop on the snatch than your traditional crossover. And there's a reason for that. So let's take a look at it, but slow. Step by step breakdown tutorial. If you want to break ankles the right way, study with me. Let's become students of the game. One of the main objectives of basketball is to put the ball in the basket, the easiest shot possible. So that would be a layup, right? So I guess the first step is to pick a shoulder and attack. If the defender's trying to take an angle to cut you off, that's when you snatch. Normally that'll send them flying or make them crawl on all fours. Now there's a few different ways to snatch. You can go through the legs both ways, or behind the back, or cross the right in front of you. Either way, make sure you're attacking with purpose, and not just trying to toy with your defender. Don't forget what the goal is. The goal is to get a bucket. Now I'm sure some of you are thinking it. Oh my gosh, that's a push off. It's an old school trick, man. And all your favorite players do it. Do I advise you to push off? Nope. Do I teach players how to do it? Yep. If you want to learn more steps, I'll post it on my Instagram. 